What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today we had a huge weapons and specialists balancing patch in Black Ops 3. Quite a few things were affected, a bunch of multiplayer weapons, a bunch of specialist abilities, and a bunch of specialist weapons. And honestly, it's kind of crazy to see this big of a patch coming out during a beta. And it's really, it's kind of like, you know, encouraging. And it makes me think that, you know, this is going to be a great game. It's going to be a great year because, like, the, this game isn't even launched yet. Like, it's nowhere close to November. But they're already taking everybody's feedback into consideration. They're looking at data from the game. And they're already changing the game way ahead of time to be able to make it the best possible that it can be. So, I, I think that's awesome. But I wanted to go through and let you guys know what's changed because there are quite a few things that, to have some pretty big differences. So starting off here with the M8A7 Assault Rifle, one of my favorite guns in the game. I think it's one of the best guns in the game. This thing has received a pretty heavy nerf. So it's got increased time in between bursts as well as a slightly increased upward recoil pattern. So you are going to be able to shoot as fast and when you are shooting, it's not going to be as much as a laser weapon like it was before. Like it's going to have some more upwards recoil. So you're going to have to try to control that and uh, be a little bit slower in your shooting. Now, next up, the Draken or the Dracon Sniper Rifle, it's the semi-auto sniper. This one received one of the heaviest nerfs out of everything. So first up, it's got increased recoil. Second up, its fire rate is a little bit faster. So I guess that's, you know, kind of a, a minor buff there. But uh, the big nerf here is that hitting an enemy in the upper chest is no longer a one-hit kill. Only neck and up gives you one hit kills. So if you want to get a one hit kill with this sniper rifle, you need it somebody in the neck or the head. That's the only spot. Everywhere else is going to be a two shot kill. So I just I feel like that, you know, completely gets rid of the usefulness of that weapon and I don't know why you'd ever want to use it. Like why wouldn't you use the Shiva over that? Like it's essentially the same thing. So uh, that's uh, a pretty big change there. Now, next up, the Razorback, everybody's favorite SMG did get a pretty big nerf as well. So uh, the long range effectiveness was dramatically reduced. It used to be able to kill in just four shots out to 1,250 in-game units, but now that's been reduced to just 800 in-game units, which is a, a pretty big deal. So everything after those 800 units is a five shot kill and just for kind of a mental image the uh, the bridge on hunted is about 800 in-game units so uh, that's a, a pretty big change there in terms of the uh, the longer range engagements with that weapon as well as it did have a slight increase in its recoil it's nothing too crazy nothing too noticeable but uh, that range you know kind of reduction is a, a pretty big deal now uh, next up the HVK assault rifle this one's hip spread size is a little bit smaller you guys know that's the super fast shooting almost Black Ops 1 FAMAS like assault rifle that that one you're going to be able to hit fire a little bit better with, which uh, I look forward to testing that thing out. Next up, we have the Vesper SMG. This thing used to kill in four shots out to 350 units, but now it will only kill in four shots out to 300 units. Anything beyond that is going to be a five shot kill. So again, another, you know, kind of slightly longer distance, uh, you know, reduction there. Next up, we have the Haymaker Shotgun. This is the auto shotty. So the fire rate on this thing has been increased by about 10%, and that's enough to be noticeable. You can now shoot an entire magazine at 2.25 seconds, which is pretty insane. And uh, you know, that one's going to be a lot of fun now. The other shotgun also had some changes, both a buff and a nerf. So the KRM-262, the pump action shotty, kind of like the Remington R870, this one's up close damage was increased. So you're going to have more kind of like, you know, one shot kills up close. But then it's longer distance damage was reduced so it can't quite kill in one hit as far out as it could before even when you're aiming down sight so uh, you know up close it's more powerful longer distance it's less powerful now finally the last weapon that's been changed in this patch is the xr2 three round burst assault rifle this one had the delay in between its bursts reduced by a frame but that's not much of a change there you aren't really going to notice that and honestly i feel like it still needs to be reduced even more if you want it to be able to compete with something like the m8a7 because the M87 just absolutely destroys it in every facet of the game. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are the changes to the multiplayer weapons in the game, but that's not where we stop. We still have more changes to the uh, the specialist weapons and abilities. So, uh, first up, kinetic armor, batteries, specialist ability. It now lasts seven seconds instead of five, so obviously that's a little bit more useful. Uh, the active camo, specter specialist ability, lasts for five seconds now instead of four. That's been increased by a second. Next up, glitch. Everybody's, you know, kind of like favorite special ability. This one's a lot of fun to use if you use it correctly. It now takes two full minutes to earn with no score 
up from one and a half minutes. So it takes an extra 30 seconds to be able to earn. They could have increased the earning time there. It's gonna be a little bit slower. And on top of that, it's not quite gonna be as effective. So previously you would travel backwards in time 800 in-game units. Now you're only going to go 700 in-game units. So really not that big of a difference. It's 100 in-game units. Most of the time you aren't going to notice that, but it is an eighth of the distance that's being taken off. So you just got to keep that in mind. Uh, next up for vision pulls, the range has been reduced down to 1400 units from 1600. So again, an eighth off of what it originally was. The uh, the the radius and the kind of you know size of the the area of the map that you can scan for enemies is going to be down there. Uh, Next up for the Ripper. This thing is a lot of fun to use. It takes two full minutes to earn with no score down from three minutes. So you're gonna be able to earn this thing a lot faster. And it lasts for 20 seconds if no attacks are made up from 15 seconds. You have an extra five seconds to be able to search around and look for enemies. Next up, we have Prophet's Tempest, the lightning gun. This thing's a lot of fun to use. The beam has a slightly smaller width, and you have to be a little bit more on target to be able to hit enemies, as well as the time and the death cam after being killed is now two and a half seconds down from three. So, uh, you know, it's not going to last quite as long when it's like, you know, shocking the ground and stuff like that. Next up, we have a Ruins Speed Burst. This stays on when moving at full speed after activating 5.5 seconds up from five, so you have an extra half a second of the, uh, the full speed there. Next up, we have War Machine Batteries Specialist Weapon. The clip size is now six down from eight, so you have two less shots, as well as the explosion radius damage is slightly reduced on those shots, so it's not gonna be quite as powerful, which I agree with. I thought the War Machine was absolutely amazing. And, and then finally, last but not least, the most controversial of the bunch, we have Rejack. So you guys know the big nerf on Rejack was that now when you stand back up, you don't get to keep your score streak. Well, on top of that, there are even more nerfs. So uh, it now takes three full minutes to earn Rejack with no score when before it used to be two so it's an additional minute there 50% longer you aren't going to be able to get it as many times per match as well as the animation times get up from the Rejack has been increased from one second to one and a half seconds so you're a little bit more vulnerable and it's not quite as effective in that regard either so uh, I know a lot of you guys tend to like Rejack I personally don't like it at all and don't even think it should be in the game, but uh, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But anyway, there you guys have it. Those are all the changes to the game that just came out in the most recent patch. It's absolutely insane that they are adjusting things this much for the beta. Like, they could very easily just let these things go, say, you know what, guys, just deal with it. The beta ends tomorrow. We'll fix it for the main game once it comes out. But no, they're pushing out patches during the beta, hours before it ends, so then they can see how all this stuff works and they can tweak it even more. So I'm honestly very, very hyped to see what they do with all this, how the game is going to differ right now from when it launches in November and stuff like that. But it's just, it's good to see that we're in good hands here and that they're really trying to do their best. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all these changes. Is there anything that you really like or really don't like? Leave comments down below. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos. Couldn't even seen yet. Peace out.